Let us do an experiment for magnetic field due to current through a straight conductor. Apparatus required a battery of 12 volts, variable resistance, amateur, plug key, copper wire, eye nails. Procedure to be followed is Take a 12 volts battery, a variable resistance, or a rheostat, an amateur of 0 to 5 ampere, a plug key and a long straight thick copper wire. Let us arrange a straight copper wire through cardboard, A, B, C, D, in series with a switch K, amateur A, variable resistance and cells, and for reference compass P, and current type for flow. Now sprinkle some of iron filings uniformly on the cardboard A, B, C, D, and switch on so that a current passes through a metal wire. Gently tap the cardboard a few times, and observe the pattern of the iron filings. Now. Let us list out the findings for the test. We observe, iron filings align themselves showing, a pattern of concentric circles around the copper wire. These circles represent the magnetic field lines. Secondly we observe, magnetic field lines direction is found, by placing a compass at a point P over a circle. The direction of the north pole of compass needle, would give the direction of the field lines, produced by electric current through the metal wire at point P. We also observe that, if the direction of the current is changed, the direction of magnetic field lines also changes. We observe that, if the current is increased in a metal wire, the deflection in the compass needle also increases. It indicates the magnitude of the magnetic field lines, produced at a given point P also increases. And lastly we observe that, if we move away from the metal wire, the concentric circles representing the magnetic field lines, will become larger and larger. A convenient way of finding the direction of force of magnetic field, associated with a current carrying conductor is Maxwell's right hand grip rule. Now let's move on to Maxwell's right hand grip rule. If the direction of current is known, then the direction of magnetic field produced by a straight wire, can be obtained with the help of Maxwell's right hand thumb rule. If we look at the image first, imagine that you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand, such that the thumb points towards the direction of current flow, then the direction in which your fingers encircle the wire, will give the direction of magnetic field lines around the wire. There are two conclusions involved. The first is, if the current is flowing from top to bottom, the direction of magnetic field lines of force would be in clockwise direction. The second is, if the current is flowing from bottom to top, the direction of magnetic field lines of force would be in anti-clockwise direction.